tooth decay, gum disease, and ulcers. These are side effects of not taking care of your dog's teeth. And unfortunately, this is very common. A study published in 2012 from the Federal University of Vicosa reported that 88.7% of dogs over the age of three already had periodontal disease. How did it get this bad? The owners. In this study, only 17.5% of the dog owners actively took care of their dog's teeth. Well, what causes dogs to have these dental issues in the first place? A major contributor is tartar. As your dog eats, a sticky film called plaque gradually sticks to their teeth over time. If it doesn't get removed, it eventually turns into a hard yellow crust called tartar. Tartar traps bacteria under it, and once it starts pushing against the gum line, bacteria spreads into the gums and teeth. This bacteria is the major reason tooth decay and infection sets in. Okay, well, what can you do to prevent tartar from building up? One way is to manually scrape the plaque off before it hardens into tartar. How do you do that? A dental scraper. You know, that pointy tool that dentists use to clean your teeth. These scrapers might seem a little intimidating, but many owners use them to clean their pet's teeth. Dental scrapers do a great job at scraping off plaque and even small bits of tartar, but there is a slight downside to using one. In order for you to actually get into your dog's mouth and scrape, they will need to be still. You don't wanna scrape their gums by accident. Now, getting your dog to stay still might sound unrealistic, but just look at my dog. When I first started trying to get him used to the scraper, he wasn't having it. But after a month or two, he started to relax and let me scrape. Today, he knows the drill the second I take the scraper out. I usually do this every month or so. While dental scrapers can scrape small amounts of tartar off the teeth, there are some instances where it's just too thick. Now, besides not taking care of your dog's teeth, what can make tartar pile up so quickly? Well, a major culprit is the type of food being fed. Kibble is very starchy and incredibly dry. And the drier the food is, the easier it is to coat their teeth. Just think about when you're eating potato chips. Now, some people claim that dry food helps knock tartar off the teeth while they're chewing it. And while this can be true for the tips of the teeth, it's not as effective at scraping the tartar off the gum line. Additionally, since kibble is very high in refined carbohydrates, it will only continue to build up more tartar. Okay, well, what about canned food? Could this be a better option? Unfortunately not. Canned food still includes refined carbohydrates that increase tartar buildup over time. And since there's no chewing going on, no tartar will be knocked off the tips of the teeth. Now, if you don't have access to a dental scraper, what other options do you have? Well, there is something else out there that's not only less invasive, but it's natural, bones. Specifically, raw meaty bones. Now, there's a lot of information out there on the dangers of feeding bones. A big one being intestinal impactions. Yes, this is true for cooked bones, but it's not the same for small, raw bones that have meat surrounding it. Cooked bones are brittle and can splinter very easily, but small, raw bones are soft, malleable, and easy to digest for meat-eating species like canines. Dental disease is actually very rare in wild canines. And a big reason why is because their diet includes raw meaty bones, which they gnaw on with both sides of their mouth. This means they're basically brushing their teeth while they eat. When a dog bites down on something like a chicken neck, the bone segments scrape the teeth as they crunch down. My dog Matsu eats raw meaty bones daily, not only for the teeth cleaning benefits, but because they provide calcium and magnesium into his raw diet. If your dog eats a commercial diet, raw meaty bones can still be fed, but should be given one to three times a week rather than daily. Okay, you might be wondering, what bones are safe to feed? Or can small dogs even eat raw bones? I answer all of that in this video. 